All right, let's take another look at uh, gold. Uh, at this point, I'm kind of inclined to to think this probably is going to be uh, turn out to be a daily cycle low, even though it uh, it did not break this cycle uptrend line here. It tagged it and bounced. I mean, there's still a possibility. You know, we've got to finish the week. I guess there's still a possibility this could roll over and, and break it, and then and then we would have our downtrend line. You know, let's just assume that this is the top. I'm not saying it is or, or anything, but um, if it were to turn out to be the top, then um, we could <clears throat> get rid of this. We could um, assume that this bounce is, is forming the pivot for the downtrend line. So that that is still a possibility, and and we you know still got the, the rest of the week to go to see if that turns out to be the case. But uh, as of this moment, anyway, on Monday, this is starting to look to me like this is probably um, a final daily cycle low right here. And uh, and now we're in the advancing phase of, of the fourth daily cycle. Uh, my assumption at this point is, is that the fourth daily cycle will be the one that uh, left translates and uh, gives us a, a failed cycle, and by that I would I mean it would drop below this cycle low. That the um, alternative scenario would be that we would need five daily cycles, and that the entire intermediate cycle would stretch out to you know 50 weeks, which is just I don't know that I've ever seen anything that has has gone on that long. We're we're already extremely mature. We're five months into this. Uh, intermediate rally here so uh, I think I, I've got to assume that that uh, we're, you know, we're probably starting the fourth daily cycle and this fourth daily cycle is probably going to left translate and roll over and uh, and then move down and give us our next uh, intermediate cycle low probably uh, in October if you know if this is the final daily cycle low then we're uh, what is it? Four days. So we'd be, well, it would be on day three uh, of this new daily cycle. It should probably top some uh, somewhere around day five to day ten, and then start the declining uh, phase of the intermediate uh, or, or of the daily cycle that would um, should break below this low here. And like I said, I I think. Um, if the T1 pattern is correct, we've at least got to come back down and test this um, 1750 to 1800 level before the intermediate cycle uh, low would be complete. So uh, that's the way it's looking to me at the moment anyway. Um, we've still got the rest of the week to go, so you know, the, everything could change again tomorrow if this were to sell off viciously tomorrow. But uh, as of right now, this... This looks to me like we're on day three of a new daily cycle. We're just not going to break that um, that daily cycle uptrend line. And, and sometime between, uh, like I said, between day, probably around day eight to day 10 would be when I would expect a, a top. And then we roll over and start uh, moving down into that uh, intermediate cycle low. Uh, if I look at the miners, um, they usually, not always, but very often they'll um, diverge uh, as an intermediate cycle top is putting in. So if, if gold was to perhaps make a, a marginally higher high and, and um, tag that 2100 level, and remember I, that was kind of my target um, for the uh, T1 pattern would be somewhere around 2100 it came up a little short on the recent rally it only made it to about um, uh, 2089 I think so about 11 points short of that 2100 target so it's possible that gold could come come up and and get a little closer to that t1 target around 2100 or maybe a little bit above and then that's where we get our top and, uh, and if GDX is diverging maybe has not made a higher high that would be a warning sign. Another warning sign uh, is the uh, volume in the inverse funds. Let me convert this chart. All right, so this is uh, this is dust. This is the inverse 
a leveraged inverse fund of the major miners. The JDust chart looks similar, but when I see this this um, huge uh, upside or, or, she, or huge um, volume on a up week, that's it, it doesn't always mark the exact bottom, although many times it does. But it, it usually marks a point at which smart money is starting to get positioned for a top in the in the metals and a in a, a bottom in these inverse funds, and they're they're starting to hedge heavily uh, in the inverse funds to protect uh, their long positions or just to profit from the downside, and. Uh, even even if it doesn't mark the exact bottom, it almost always marks a point at which any further upside in the miners is going to be given back anyway. Uh, so, you know, another warning sign here that that the you know if if we are starting the fourth daily cycle, that it's probably going to left translate uh, by day eight or ten, and then start moving down into the intermediate cycle low so you know this is not a, a spot where I would want to be buying um, long positions unless of course you're just going to hold on to an old turkey position and uh, and just ride your positions all the way to uh, what I think will probably be a bubble top here in the next uh, year and a half or two years if that's the case then you can just ignore intermediate corrections you know they're going to be temporary and they will be recovered during the next uh, intermediate cycle so it uh, for those kind of people, it, it's not terribly important that they try and dodge an intermediate cycle low. But um, for traders that, that don't want to ride out those corrections uh, or if they're trying to use leverage, you don't want to use leverage uh, and, and ride out an intermediate correction and leverage. Uh, so, uh, you know, if, if that is how you are trading or you do trade with leverage, then I, I think you want to be aware of these warning signs. And at the the very least, at least take down your leverage or, or place a tight stop on your trade. Certainly, um, let me go back to the gold. Um, so uh, certainly, any any move below here would um, constitute a lower low, and that would be um, basically the final confirmation that an intermediate cycle uh, decline had begun. So uh, you know, if if you're long. And you're, you want to still hold longs. I think you got to have a hard stop below this pivot right here, as that would um, that would signal a, a lower low and, and confirm that an intermediate decline has begun.